Welcome to the seventh video illustrating the block series end-to-end -end scenario using Bob, Sardel, Gateway and SubUI5. My name is Tia Hillenbrand and I'll guide you through the creation of the Entity Set Business Partner. New in this video is that we will map Gateway Associations to Bob Associations. The general procedure is the same as in the fifth video dealing with the Entity Set products. Again, we will first define the audited data model for the business partner entity set, then implement it using the service adaptation engine, create and map an association, and finally test it in the gateway client. So let's start with transaction SEGW. We open the project in edit mode, then we have to create the entity type business partner, flagging once again the checkbox create related entity set for our convenience. We navigate to the properties and define the structure elements with its attributes. This time, the business partner ID is the key. We add the properties, company name and legal form, and address data like city, street, and building. This takes some time. The entity set has already been created by the creation wizard. We populate the flags. That's almost it for the model definition, but prior to the association definition, we proceed with the property mapping. Again, we open the mapping editor in the service implementation folder. Again, we select the source type Bob business object and enter the name of the business partner root node. The editor opens and we drag and drop the related fields from right to left. As in the video dealing with the product entity set, the source view offers all associations from the business partner root node. We find the association to the main address, open it and map the necessary fields. Let's throw a glance at the mapping. You can distinguish the original root node attributes from those of the secondary nodes by the names. The latter one are composed by the association name and the element name of the target node. When we select a product on the UI, we want to display details. Not only from the product, but also details from the business partner. There are different ways to handle this requirement. One of it is to use a feature of the OData specification, the navigation properties. So we create an association in the data model section. It is an association from the product entity type to the business partner entity type. We enter the association name, select the corresponding entity types, and for convenience, we flag the checkbox create related navigation property for the association source. The wizard proposes to configure the association. As we want to refer to a BOB association, we must not configure it redundantly. So we delete the proposal and finish the wizard. The association mapping has to be done in the mapping editor. Associations are attributes of the source type, hence we open the mapping editor for the product entity set. Look at the gateway data model on the left hand side. Beside the property mapping, you can map associations. The one we just defined is displayed. Now drag and drop the Bob association or use the value help. That's it. Save and generate the service. and switch to the Gateway Client in the Service Maintenance folder. We check the model information. The Business Partner Header set is there as collection. We select this entity set and get the list of business partners. We do not want to test the 
complete CRUD capabilities of the entity set, but go straight ahead to test the navigation property. Therefore, we have to select the product. We remember the product ID we created in a former video and enter it in the URL. The reference supplier ID is 9, followed by 7 zeros and 20. Just to remind it. To follow the navigation path, we complement the URL by a slash and the navigation property name. Then we execute the GET request. And here we are. The business partner ID 9, some zeros, 20 is provided. To summarize this video, we created the business partner entity set, mapped it to the business partner root node, joining address data from a secondary node. Then we created a gateway association with the related navigation property. The association is mapped and implemented by a BOPF association. Finally, we tested the navigation property in the gateway client. Now we can implement the third page, the detail page of our UI application.